Now is the time to discuss another type of queries that are SOSL. SOSL stands for Salesforce Object Search Language, which is basically used to do text based searches on the records that you have available with in your uh, Salesforce org. So like there's a basic difference between SOQL and SOSL. Let me tell you what exactly it is. When you're querying the records in uh, with the help of SOQL and when you want the information out from database, uh, you write down SOQL when you're aware that where on which object that information resides. But when it comes to SOSL, you're not aware that where this information is available or where this information is stored or on, on which object this information is stored. So whenever you are sure that this information would be uh, like this record or this information would be on this particular object, go for SOQL. And if you're not aware of the object and, or uh, if you're not uh, aware that the information would be present on which object, then in that case, uh, do the text based searching with the help of SOSL. Now let's talk about what is the basic syntax of SOSL. So whenever we are writing down SOSL in Apex, we'll write it down like this. So uh, in SOQL, the keyword that we used uh, was select. Whereas when you're writing down find, it means that you're writing down an SOSL query. So find needs to be the keyword that you that you should specify whenever you're writing down an SOSL query. And after that, whatever text you want to search, write it down in a single quote. So this is when you're searching that, that particular text in Apex or when you're writing down this SOSL query in Apex. But if you're writing down this query in uh, the query editor, then in that case, just use the curly brace and inside the curly brace, put the text that you want to search onto the, uh, in your Salesforce org basically. And uh, this syntax not only includes the text that you want to search, but also includes different, different other things. Let me tell you what these are. So then comes what type. What type basically defines that from uh, like which type of fields uh, can hold this kind of information. So let me tell, give you a simple example. You want to search uh, a name, right? So uh, you're, search, you're like the name is John and you're writing out find John. So John can be there in like email fields as well. John can be there uh, with like you can say name fields as well. John can be there in addresses as well. So like there's a street which is called a St. John street, something like that. So John can be anywhere. If you want to specify that in which type of fields uh, this information can be, then in that case, uh, you need to specify that where uh, or which type, what type of field can store this kind of information that you're specifying over here in the single quotes. And after specifying what type, it is again optional. It's not necessary every time that you should specify what type. Uh, so it's your choice. Uh, and we're going to discuss this a bit further in the uh, next videos. But this is the basic syntax that you, you're going to use. And then after that, we can uh, use another keyword, which is called as, which is uh, returning. R uh, like returning keyword is used to specify the objects in which this search should be done. So what I mean by that is, imagine you're searching John. So when you search, when you'll search John with the help of SOSL, it will return all the records of account object, contact object, uh, lead object, any custom object, which includes the information or which includes the value John. You want to like narrow down the results to only three objects, accounts, contacts, or leads, or you want to narrow down the results to only two objects, accounts or contacts. So after returning, you're going to specify the name of the objects uh, to which you want to narrow down the results of that particular SOSL query. So this is basically what the syntax is and it's the same with uh, in query, query editor just the, the only difference between uh, the apex one and the query editor is that uh, in query editor you need to write it down in curly braces whereas in apex you need to write it down in single quotes. Now without wasting any further time let's go ahead and try some of the SOSL queries and see the results that how it works and what kind of results it returns. So here is a simple example find John. So let's copy this, uh, like this, uh, this SOSL query and paste it on query editor. So how I'm going to do that is again, it's the same uh, query editor that we use for SQL queries. So we're going to just paste it like this, find John and I'm going to just execute it. Okay. So, uh, there are seven records in opportunity object, uh, which include the information John or which include this text John. Whereas there is only one account which includes the John text. Uh, there are two contacts and there are four Apex classes and three leads which includes the uh, data or which includes the text which has the text John inside it. 
so that's how basically it works so it can it can return multiple other like in the result sosl query can return multiple ob, uh, multiple records of multiple objects it is not a uh, like associated to or it is not narrowed down to a single object only as it used to be with soql query now so i have another example over here for the where thing that i that we just, just discussed in the syntax so uh, where uh, means that in which object you want to uh, do this text based searching so you can specify although you uh, want to do it in multiple objects but uh, in multiple objects as well you want to narrow down it to two or three or four or five whatever the number is uh, number of amount number of objects so how you're going to do that is with the help of returning keyword so you're going to write down find then the text that you want to search and then you're going to specify returning and then the api name of the objects in which you want to do that particular search so i'm just going to copy this and in here i'm going to paste it and now have a look account has only one uh, record which includes john and contact has two records which include john so what that means earlier there were seven opportunities multiple apex classes there were three leads different different records were there but now the result is narrowed down to the to these two objects only which we have specified after the returning key word now comes what type so you want to uh, like search the records in particular type of fields only you want to search the records in name uh, in email fields only or in name fields only so how you're going to do that so let's copy this example find john name fields and i'm going to paste it over here and i'm going to execute it so there are again uh, one account and two contacts that are coming over here and no opportunity is coming even if i haven't specified any uh, return like even if i haven't specified returning keyword in any of the objects in here still it's not it's like the opportunity records which include the information john is not coming why because i am only doing this search on name fields so if i'll remove this name field i'll get all the records from opportunity object as well from account from contact from everything and if i'm going to include it once again this is how it will work and if i'm going to like if i want to search this john text in email fields instead of name fields i'm going to write down uh, in email fields And I'm going to execute it. So now have a look over here. There are only two contacts that are returned as a result of this SSL query and no account. Why? Because in account, the information or the John text was present in name field, not onto the email field. So if you want to narrow down, down like narrow down the results to particular type of fields or particular fields only, then in that case, specify in name fields, in email fields. And again, we're going to discuss it later uh, a bit further as well. Now, if you can notice in this example, uh, you're only getting uh, ID in the result. You're not getting any other field in the result while you're writing down this SOSL query. Even if you will write down find John in email fields and you're going to execute it, you're going to get only IDs. What if you want other fields from these uh, objects as well? So how are you going to get that? So here is a simple example that will help you uh, get those fields as well in the result. So find John returning account and inside account, inside the parenthesis over here, I'm uh, specifying the fields that I want in the result, uh, which is name, comma, phone. And if I want like another field like number of employees, then I'm going to just write down comma and write down number of employees, which is uh, a field of account object. And over here I have contact and I want only one field from contact that is last name and uh, student underscore underscore c which is a custom object and i'm specifying two uh, fields which are there onto this custom uh, object which is name and name underscore underscore c so i'm going to copy this query or copy this ssl query yes and i'm going to paste it over here and i'm going to execute it okay so there's a problem over here i think this field's name is student underscore name right okay have a look in the account i'm getting damon john it's his phone number and uh, number of employees as null because there is no value that is defined for this particular account and inside contact i am getting uh, doe which is the last name john doe and uh, john bond maybe the maybe the name of this contact so i am getting the last name so have a look the 
value the fields that you are specifying in here inside uh, the parenthesis of uh, after the name of that particular object or after the api name of that particular object are the fields which you want in the result whereas if you specify in name fields in email fields that will narrow down the search so this is not like narrowing down the result that you should only search it in name phone and number of employees field no it's not going to happen it's going to return these three fields as a result of this ssl query in, like whereas when it comes to in name fields in email fields it was actually doing the search in only name fields or in only email fields so that's basically what the difference is